Welcome back, Whippersnappers. This is Gramps. Today's the big day. We are going for the ancient control room. Now, that whole scene, that whole event takes a lot of time. So I went ahead and did a morning dive. I just fished up some normal stuff, not anything super exciting. And I also went over to Django there at the restaurant and bought stuff from him. Before we go under the water, though, what I want to do is take a look at eye diver and I want to max out our air all right that is maxed um, crab traps don't really super care about cargo box maxed out all right let's do it crab traps all right we have eye diver maxed out Everything we can do there, we have done. So, awesome. As far as the weapon we take, it doesn't really, really matter. So, I'm going to take our tranquilizer. And as we swim down, I'm going to grab our th our uh, every dive thresher shark. I'm probably going to swing in and grab a sailfish too. And then I'm just going all the way down to the bottom. So... This is going to be a, a quick speed run to get down to the Sea People Village. Oh, before we do this, hmm, again, it doesn't super matter what we have gear-wise, but I do, just in case... Oh, you know what I want to do is this. Reduces damage taken by 10%. We're going to wear that instead of that. And survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. Let's take those. I think those are both helpful. Um, yeah, our gun base damage, that's not going to really be major. The only other thing would be dash speed. <laughs> you know what? Let's take that instead. All right. Okay. Now we're ready. I still want to get Thresher Shark, otherwise we would just teleport down. But we're going to essentially teleport down at about 450% speed. Here we go. Okay, here we are down in the Sea People Village. Did you see we caught our last Skullbone? That was so exciting. Uh, our seeds are upgraded. Let's stop in at Mima's and let's see which of the dumplings. We may not get our normal dumpling. Definitely going to get one with a speed improvement. Reduces damage taken. Boom, boom. That's what we want. We're going We're going into the final fight. You know, this is the, the big honcho and we just want to uh, reduce as much damage as possible. Dunkleosteus done. And I think that's the last of our request board chores.
Excellent. We're all good on Black Coral. And let's let's do this. Yes, we'll take that tranquilizer harpoon. Always. One thing I do want to do as we're going down here is grab any of the yellow underwater boxes. I'm hoping to find some oxygen. Same thing that we did for Klaus. Baseball is not so much what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, if this one's a baseball, I quit. Okay, here we are. Time to go thing. By the way, if you look at that little uh, uh, robot from C Blue, there's another hidden code in there. C Blue forever. Before we go down there. stock up on that stuff. Sure, why not? Grab these. Look at that, another ruby seahorse. And we're going to get some oxygen. Okay, the roots have mutated, and things are blocked by tree sap. So we need to find a way to get around the tree sap. Okay, so over here, we've got that's a movable door. Of course, we can do this, but when we go off of it, it slams shut. Look at this. We've got this little guy up here. And luckily, he apparently weighs a million pounds. And now we're trapped. Smacking him till he dies. D, A, D, and Q. Hey, 
And where did, uh, there he is. Okay. Is that all of them? Nope. Okay, that takes him out, I guess, in one shot. All right, good to know. Okay, so we've got uh, Trig Sap there. We've got these divine fruit that look a little funky. These are mutated divine fruit. Now there's like this pulsing sound. I'm just going to drop that. Boom. Yes, what if you did it that, Dave? What if? Okay, here's another snail dude. Hmm, I wonder if we drop this guy right on that. Hey, excellent. But we know those guys, once you drop them, they like to get up and move. See? And there you go. Okay, so this is one of the worst puzzles in the game. It's an easy enough puzzle, conceptually. You just have to get snail dudes on top of these three geysers all at once. Plugging those three geysers is going to make this middle geyser explode and blast this open so we can get out of there. But as we've discovered, dropping them you know, they start moving again. So that's one way to hopefully get it going. Now when he starts moving, he's going to block it. Oh, look at this. Ah, but he kept moving. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, you understand the basics. Uh, I'm just going to kind of fast forward until I lucky solve it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of back and forth. If you get it, so you put the snail on, like if the snail is headed to the right, and if you can get the snail on the left edge of the geyser, then he's going to wake up and he's going to go to the right, which is going to block the geyser. In theory. It's just a lot of back and forth. It's, it's just, it's a brutal game. Going to fill up on oxygen. Now let's grab this tree fruit, because... We are right underneath that first room. That little heartbeat is very disconcerting. But we're just going to drop it right there. And swim away. Hey. Yes, you should always be careful, Dave. Right, more of this fun. So we're just kind of wait till they stop exploding and then swim through. Oh. Or you light on fire. Go through two of them at once. Okay, same game, but 
you can just sort of charge ahead on it. Alright, so once you get hit by one, just run through the others. <laughs> So we've got some gross-looking eggs attached to divine tree roots, and hey, look at that. Strange creatures. Uh, space, space, space. Okay, if you can hit them with the harpoon, they die. So I'm going to restock on oxygen. Uh, okay, another one of these. Well, and guess what? There's more. wonder if we could use the divine tree fruit. Somehow this one did not mutate. So we're going to drop it on in there. Oh my, here they come. Okay, so space gets you in control. You need to get those guys that are going up high first. Yeah, that was the last of them, I'm sure. So yeah, the ones that are super high and super low, you need to get first. Because if they're too high, they're going to go up and around the beam. That one guy's coming up and around. We're not going to be able to get him, so I'm going to... Oops. Ugh. Space, space, space! Switch into the gun. Our favorite warning, you sense a dangerous creature's presence.
All right, and that's it. That's the end of Dave the Diver, folks. Everything is done and peaceful and calm and what's going on? Our friend Duff, yes, the weapon is here with the drone. Ha-cha! Okay, so right mouse button will temporarily manipulate time. Goodbye. No, see you again, eternity. Yowie. All right. So we are just fire, fire, fire. So that little temporary time thing is pretty cool. I'm just firing with the left mouse button, by the way, just holding that down. Oh my. Let's unlock the limiter. Why didn't you do that from the start? Stella Laser. Alright. So the space button is going to charge our laser. Okay, we're going to charge that laser up. Oh. Each of those hits is doing 600 damage. And I'm just trying not to get hit.
I was going to do the laser attack. No. Okay, we're pretty close. Oh. Awesome. That's it, Dave. Why kill tomorrow what you can kill today? Okay, so we've got these guys going at us. pretty low. Good news is we're going to start back at the same zone and we're going to be at full oxygen. So charging up. You can kind of get into this little sweet spot here and not take a lot of damage from those guys. These ones you just want to swim around and avoid. While you're doing that, you can fire. Now he's going to do his flame. Alright, and then those attacks are all going to start repeat. Okay, so let's see we're in that sweet spot. That's going to be the red balls again. <laughs> I think does make a really loud noise. Alright, next is going to be the flame attack. So we're going to try to avoid it. And charge. Another... Ah, oh, she's taking a nap. Nope. Oh my. Okay, so now we're not firing at it. Ugh, we're just trying to avoid that. <laughs> That's all we need to do. You really don't want to get hit by that beam. Ugh, like I just did. Try to fake him out by going to one side and get him to fire on that side, but there we go. Yeah, using the little time thing helps. Oh my goodness. <laughs> e. Ah, 
Heck, uh, there's a little ghost of Dr. Bacon down there. Alright, so he's entangled in the divine tree. Ah, one of these laser beam guns. This is one of the rooms we were in originally. Before we saw Yahweh. Yay, see people. I'm just going to point out that Suwam takes the uh, easiest position here. So we're pulling a divine tree fruit, drop it in the gun. Oh my. It's Yowie Guts. <laughs> my aim. Everything is better. Ta-da! Hey, where's Cobra? Alright, so that was Yaoi. Now, I do want to point out one thing that's important here. Notice that we do not... Um, you know, every other boss we've killed, we've gone and harvested something off of them. That did not happen with Yaoi. So we're going to have to go back down there, and we'll do that next episode, but we'll have to go back down, and I think we can harvest him then. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to open up the phone. And look at this, the only thing we do is go to sushi. Ah, all of our friends gathered together. All right, let's go and talk to everyone. Oh, first, let's pet the kitty. And go for another exciting dive.
All right, I think Dave's having a bit of a dream. So in the end credits, you can uh, swim around and you can destroy them. And that's another achievement. So right click and then left click and just hold, hold it down. And you only have until you get to the very end. You don't have to really worry about the other guys and just keep going up. See, it's counting down 19 left. Let's see if we can get them all here. And left. Can we do it? Six, five. Four. Three. Two left. Come on. Where are you? Oh, there's one. And there's the other. One to go. UI artist Simon Lee. It took me a long time to get that achievement, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And you... We're part of it. Well, whippersnappers, in theory, this is the end of the game. We have done it. We've killed, we've completed, we've killed the final boss, kind of. But you can still keep it going. There's always Cobra. Okay, I think that last part was added in um, for the DLC that's coming out. Awesome. We have a curry party tonight, so this is not the end of the series. I'm going to keep going. Like I said, I'm going to go until episode 50 at least. Um, and there are other things that we can do. We're going to, you know... Uh, bah, bah, bah. We need to max out Cooksta. We need to get to the top level. We'll also probably spend a day going through Marinka and see what we need to still catch from there. And what else? Looks like there's a bunch of stuff waiting for us over at the farm. Oh, and he needs seeds. See, Sammy tells us when he needs seeds and when there's chicken feed that needs to be done. Oh, and also, we're here. Let's do this. Kaboom. 
Excellent day. So the uh, waterproof bag does, sorry, here increases weight limit by 30 kilograms. All right. So that's another thing. All right, kids. Thank you so much. Uh, this has uh, been a lot of fun. And like I said, we're going to keep it going. And uh, we will check in tomorrow. So thank you so much. This is Gramps signing off.